you have been able to somewhat, in my opinion, from yeah. just knowing you and viewing you and make some make a lot of sense to a lot of these crazy jokes. Right. Give I don't want to say only facts, but even more substance. Yes. But when you say crazy joke, you you mean certain topics that everyone jokes, is maybe. afraid to to talk about. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you afraid to talk about anything? No. So there's nothing off limits. No, nothing's off limits. Why is that? Because that's the that's the dance, bro. That's what I enjoy about comedy. I'm a bullfighter. I'm a fucking matador. You know. And the premise. The 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 premise of the joke, the topic of the joke is the bull, right? Comics always say this shit like comedy is like boxing. It's not like boxing. Okay. No boxer has ever said, you know, being in the ring is just like telling a joke on stage. There's sure. no, nothing like that at all. It's just nerdy comics are trying to find a way to make themselves seem, you know, like they have bravado, et cetera. The reason it's not like boxing comedy is because when two when you're boxing someone who's really good, you don't look good. You don't look elegant. You don't look beautiful in there. It's a fucking struggle. It's a fight, right? The reason comedy is bullfighting is because when a great bullfighter is in there, they're not struggling with that bull. They're fucking dancing with that shit. This 3,000, 4,000 pound beast with two horns. Mm. They're tapping foreheads with sure. it. Look, they're playing with it, right? And that's what I want to do with it. If you tell me I can't, can't tell a joke about trannies, I'm like, all right, bet. Let me get out my cape, and it's time to dance with this motherfucker, right? And I understand the stakes that are going with it, but that's what makes it that much more exciting, right? And I dance, and I make it look elegant, and I skewer that motherfucker. 